Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy E Games. We're back in Kenshin Impact, and today is it still here? No, it's no longer here. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the Tainari story quest. As you can see, um, I'm really far behind. There's already been Sinos and Lilu uh, from 3.1. I'm currently in 3.1 right now. But I'm finally able to play the 3.0 Tainari quest. Um, I think I'm going to group these videos by release uh, version. But chronologically, it's going to be a little bit different. So people who are watching the playlist will get like all of 3.0 stuff in one playlist and then all of 3.1 stuff. But then people who are following this um, as it comes out... <laughs> The things might be a little bit out of order, especially since the Wine Lace Fest, Fine Lace Fest, uh, is happening right now and uh, is about to come to an end and everything. So yeah, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but we we'll just, we'll just like continue with the story. All of these stories are somewhat um, uh, compartmentalized, I guess, or uh, they don't, they're independent. They don't really uh, step on other stories that much or, or refer to other stories that much you just kind of have to know around what time these stories are happening <laughs> so yeah let's um unlock this we'll claim this and i already have enough for the next one it looks like actually i have three keys so that means i have enough for these two still <laughs> since they only cost one key each i think in the past uh some of these Whoa, I got something here. Oops, I got a reward there. Ooh, oopsies. <laughs> but yeah, in, in the past, um, some of these costed two keys, but recently, like, Kuki and Hazo, I think, didn't cost any keys at all. I don't know, I don't remember. Anyways, that's a little off topic. Let's uh, finally do this. Uh, Fulpez Zerda, Chapter Act 1. Ah, uh, the unanswerable problems. The start of contamination. Uh-oh, something's contaminated? <laughs> Talk to Catherine in Sumeru. You haven't gone to see Catherine in a while. Why don't you go have a look? All right, let's track that. And it's telling me to go all the way here. Let's teleport there. I uh, started a little closer to Grand Grandarvaville. Because I thought it will probably tell us to go talk to Tainari right away. But apparently this is going to be a Catherine thing. Woo! Hey, Carthage, how are you doing today? Traveler, you've come at a good time. Okay. Wait, this sounds like another commission. <laughs> it is as you say. The commission this time around is of high importance. It pertains to the safety of the Avidia Forest's inhabitants. Okay. Huh? What happened? Not long ago. We received word that a section of the Avidia Forest seems to have become contaminated. Is this the withering <laughs> from the Archon Quest? Contaminated? You mean a new withering zone? Hey, that's what I just said, Paimon. I don't know about the specifics, but I hear that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region. The Avidia Forest's inhabitants won't leave their homes so easily. If we allow this contaminated region to expand, the consequences could be unimaginable. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. Even if all you can do is stop the contamination from spreading, that will still save many people. Okay. This is forest business. Hmm. Maybe Tainari will know something. Let's go find him. Let's go find him. Usually in the character's story quest, the unanswerable problem uh, started. Usually when we're in the story of a specific character, we at some point are able to play as a character. Usually in a domain, not all the time though, sometimes it's in the open world, but oops, I want to go here. Now I'm back here. <laughs> this is where I was at the start of the video. <laughs> Wee. Uh. Wee, Tainari. Wee. Hey, that's the that's one of the lady who was meditating or something, right? Okay, maybe not. 
Asha. No, it's not. I think that lady's name was a uh, Pasha or something. A Pasha. A high Pasha. I don't remember. <laughs> your voice down. It's a child. It's a stinky, silly child. Foolish. Tainari, everything's spinning. Am I going to die? Potentially, yes. Tell mom that I should have listened to her and tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari... I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. Oh, that's just your nervous system shutting down. Don't worry about that. What happened? Tainari, is he? Okay, okay, enough nonsense. Oh, it's only nonsense, okay. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then... Can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? Nope. We're going to tell uh, Suna right away. <laughs> no can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? Did you go near the withering zone? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. Man, they should give him a pillow or something, because having to, like, have nothing support your head and neck must be really, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. I guess he has such a big anime head that maybe he doesn't need a pillow. His big, like, anime skull is, like, supporting him. <laughs> Could it be? The contaminated region, question mark? Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so, got it? Got it. Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. Okay, what do you need from us? You leave the room with Tainari. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but I only said that to comfort him. Ooh, ew. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. They seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. What? Antipyretics won't be of much use. Oh, we should uh, get some healing crystals out then. Maybe that would work. Maybe it's not his um, uh, astrological uh, moment right now. We gotta wait until the stars uh, form a different constellation. Then, <laughs> then uh, he would feel better or something. What do we do, Mr. Forest Watcher? You have to help him. If memory serves. A plant called Vasanti grass can help soothe the mind. Oh, okay. I wonder what that is. What kind of grass is that that can soothe the mind? A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidya forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. Oh, no. I'll ask the caravans. Go find Kale, have her prepare medicinal tools, and a set of traveling gear for me. Are we going traveling with, uh, Tainari? All right. Thank you. Uh, sure. We did nothing, but I guess she's thanking Tainari. Man, I'm so, uh, self-absorbed. Well, she must be thanking me because, uh, I'm here for some reason. Contaminated region, huh? Is that why you two are also here? Yeah, Catherine sent us. Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. Uh oh. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidya forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. So it's not a withering zone. I wonder what it is then. We feel the same way. 
All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Ring. Buy Vasanti grass from a traveling merchant. Oh, they tell me to go all the way to... Uh, what is this place called? <laughs> Sumeru City. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo. Traveling merchant, we need your help. Some kid uh, got sick and uh, Tainari thinks we can help him with some special grass. Do you have some of that? Mahir. Why are you staring at the ground like that? Have you been affected by the witch? The Blair Witch? The Vavitch? Excuse me, I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? Uh, sir, this is a uh, McDonald's. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. What? How, what? This is actually a store? This is just like a random, like, little section of the gates of the city. <laughs> And he actually has set up shop here. It doesn't look like a shop at all. <laughs> Closed. Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. Uh oh. They were mechanical parts that we got from the academia. Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. Uh-oh. All the merchants talked it over, and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. Oh, dang. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Yeah, that sucks. That happens so much. <laughs> in real life then and it's like hidden from the customer and then uh company just keeps taking a mile every time you give them like an inch which is like bs like recently uh me and my friends we went to like some place and we needed to uh park our car and to pay for parking <laughs> we had to pay at like a kiosk um and uh, th it charged us like a convenience fee which makes absolutely no sense since uh they don't have to like hire a human being to sit in like a booth all day anymore. They can just leave like the um, uh, the kiosk on <laughs> and charge and, and and just take your money that way. But then like they they charge you a convenience fee out of nowhere, which is like really annoying. It's like you should be paying us <laughs> because uh, we're spending our time figuring out how to use your machine. <laughs> but I guess some people might say they put in the money to uh, install those machines, but at the same time, they had to put in money to for the salary or the um, the paycheck for the person anyway. So on their end, it's not really much of a convenience. It's not it's not like convenient for the the people who are using the parking lot, like the clients or the customers. Is is a convenient on their part that they didn't have to like deal with scheduling and have a, have to like do all these other like logistical things. So like the parking should be cheaper because they're able to like save more money instead of having to find people to hire and stuff. But no, they like add a, a, a extra like fee on top that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> so whatever happens is like pushed on the customer. At the same time, it's like when certain like companies get taxed more because of like, I don't know, they, they are using more fuel or something, more fossil fuel. So they get more of a oil and gas tax. But then they increase all their products' as prices just to like pass that along to the consumers. So in the end, it's the people, the consumers being taxed, really. <laughs> and at the same time, they can like add a premium to that so that they can like inflate their numbers a bit more just to cover out like cover any future tax. And then when there's like rumors of more tax, they could just use that as an excuse to increase the price again. This happens so so many times in so many like different industries. In the internet uh, service provider industry, that's like, oh, they're gonna pass a 
the government is thinking of passing a law or something that makes it so that um, it'll be hard for us to do something. So we're going to have to increase our price for some reason. <laughs> Just to be able to deal with that somehow, but then they you find out they're like paying lobbyists like millions and millions of dollars and paying all these lawyers like millions and millions of dollars to like try and get their way. <laughs> and it's like, well, if you don't, if you like spend less money on those kinds of things, then you don't have to, you don't have to charge the end user, the 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 customers, the consumers so much. But I don't know. I guess the ins and outs of like how to run a business. <laughs> There's a reason these businesses are as su successful as they are, and it's not by being nice, I guess. But yeah, it just sucks being like the end customer and like just uh, having pretty much have to like take the brunt of everything <laughs> when like these companies can clearly <laughs> um, afford certain like things that are put onto them. They just, I don't know, they just want all the people in like the, the chief executive. Um, positions they just want bigger and bigger paychecks, or the shareholders just want more and more uh, uh, increase in revenue, or more and more shares, or more. It's like everyone just wants more, and in the end, it's like everyone that gets screwed over because of that, <laughs> or at least the people who uh, don't benefit the most of them get screwed over. I guess I don't know. And that was a random tangent. That I don't know. I guess like. Being a regular person, these kinds of things like really bug me, and uh, I don't really have much of a. <laughs> it's like I have a strong, um, strong emotional um, reaction to like these kinds of things, but I don't talk to about it enough so that <laughs> when like I get a chance to talk about, it, I don't really know how to put it into like consumable terms or or like ways that. It's easy, understandable. <laughs> but anyways, let's <this> continue. <laughs> Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. Oh, no. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. Uh-oh, is it the r, &R Are they, like, putting people to sleep and messing with their dreams and memories? We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts. How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. Uh-oh, what are they? <laughs> Thumpter beasts? No people? Uh-oh. Then they must be dancers? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab! Oh, like the Ruin... I don't know what they're called. Like the the ones that can transform and stuff. Not like the Ruin Guards or the Ruin Graders. But the ones that are like little cubes and they can like transform into like different forms. I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> what the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? Isn't that a crab? Didn't see any in the uh, video forest field guide. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. Uh-oh. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Okay, but will we get paid to, to help you retrieve your goods? <laughs> uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs on all future purchases of any... Uh... Enough. Tell me something that's actually useful. Any leads on that mechanical crab? Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. Okay. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. Okay, who is it then? All right. We'll go and have a word. Ring. Gather information nearby. Our Akarsh. Akarsh. Akarsh? After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. 
Turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. A caravan carrying a large amount of more had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. Eventually? <laughs> Why are you not thinking of a way now? We can't let it get away. Oh, and by we, you mean us, right? As in the Traveler. How's it going? Figured out a solution? Nope, apparently not. I don't think he's a part of it. Oh, no, wrong way. We gotta go this way. Abdo. Abdo must have that nice abs. That crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Oh, Tainari has a really bushy tail. I guess he's kind of like a fox of some kind. I don't know, a lynx? <laughs> Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Uh, I fought gods and almost won, I think. We'll just say we I won. <laughs> Didn't the academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Um, where did it go? Um, where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. Ruff. Abdo. Oh man, Abdo does have, like, sick abs. Whoa, can you see his sick abs? Abdo? Abdo abs. What a disaster. You know what's not a disaster, Abdo? Your abs. Caden? 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 Caden doesn't have sick I abs. I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. Oh, dang. However, we did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. Okay, let us spill the beans. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest. So instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Oh, I see. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. Ah. So, the medicine could still be nearby then. We're gonna steal from the thief. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things. Or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Was it trying to fix itself and maintain itself with other people's mechanical opponents? That's kind of sad if it's like a sentient robot of some kind that is uh, trying to self-sustain. But unlike humans or living things, our cells like uh, mitosis or whatever, meiosis, or I guess it, it it like copies itself and it splits and it, it grows so we, we can regenerate and heal our wounds and stuff and we eat food and uh, have like proteins and amino acids to keep our bones and everything and flesh and everything <laughs> I guess like and minerals too to keep everything there and like we have carbs and sugars and oils and fats and stuff to like power our our body but like a mechanical creature doesn't have any way to like regenerate itself <laughs> unless it's nanobots or something but I don't think the mechanical creatures here are that advanced <laughs> right it's really weird so you all found a way to retrieve our goods do you have any more mechanical parts with you we're gonna sip trap <laughs> yes I still have a small bag of samples they weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times Oh, are you planning to... Set a trap? 
Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Hmm, well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. Reward, you say? We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh, yeah. No problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> whatever we need, you say. <laughs> Take off your pants right now. It's, we need it. We need to do this right now. I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, we'll use the mechanical components and Sumter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Oh no, I'm really bad at timing things. Don't worry, we're professionals. No, Paimon, we're not professionals. Ring. Oh, trading sure is dangerous. Not only do you have to contend with the wits of others, but you have to be ready to deal with anything and everything. Okay. I was just joking about uh, dropping your pants, by the way. Does this guy still say anything? What a disaster. You know what's not disaster? <laughs> your abs. Alright, let's uh, go to the location where the robbery took place. Has this changed? You and Tainari decides to disguise yourself as passing merchants to try and lure the mechanical crab out. Here goes nothing. We just like... Take a little dive down here? Or do they expect us to take the scenic route? Let's just take a dive. Whee! It'll be sad if like there's actually a bridge up there that I was supposed to go to. <laughs> but I'm thinking it's here, hopefully. Yes, please. Thank you. Oop. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Then let's get to it! We'll definitely capture that criminal crab! Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. Why do we not the get Sumter familiar Beast with it first? Ahead. Let's keep up with it. Hmm. You can't attack it, right? Uh huh? Why did it stop? Is it because I attacked him? Hmm. Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after their goods were stolen, so they probably didn't feed their animals as scheduled. Let's give it something to eat. I got a lot of sweet madams. Wait, what? What did I, I just I just pressed the button and it didn't actually feed him anything. All right, it's moving again. Wait for me, Sumter Beast. Whoa, this one looks cool. It's got like gold pieces. Kulilu? Uh, did you hear something? I heard Kulilu. Kulilu. It looks kind of cool. Is it is it saying like it took uh, pieces and like put it onto itself or something? That's why it looks different than other mechanical crabs. It looks strong. Be careful. We had to play as Tainari. Oh, so dub the component thief. Acha, acha. Ow. Scatter. I'm going. I'm going Guild. Break. Yahoo! How do you break the, uh... Get out of here! Shield? Brace yourself! Huh. 
Let's light it up! Do your worst! <laughs> Teamwork is trick! Sans will, will to fight. Wait, what? I didn't read that in time. Sans as in without, right? It lost the will to fight. Hey, playing dumb won't save you. Spill it. Why are you stealing so many mechanical parts? It doesn't seem to understand us, Paimon. Hmm, it doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. What do you want me to do? Like, read it a story? Or just look at it? What if it tries something? What do I do then? After some searching, Tanari finds the goods and the mechanical parts. <sighs> I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts. But they don't belong to you. Yes, it does. It looks like it belongs to them. It has the same, like, markings and everything. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? It looks sad. You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. Are we at uh, domesticating one of these mechanisms? It reacted! Does it understand us? Hmm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay, so you want the crowd to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Okay. Paimon gets it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. I am robot. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? <laughs> Does that count as understanding us? <laughs> I'm not sure. But our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Vasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return. But before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah. Whoa. What are these things? Give the mechanical one back to the merchant. Okay. Let's go up the little better better boo. Shoop, 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 shoop. So is this, that crab's just gonna hang out there, trusting us to our word? What if we're liars? What if we cheated it of its uh, mechanical components? It will never know. I guess it's just a robot. They don't have souls. Oh! Oh! These are the mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! Oh, thank you all so very much. I don't know how I can repay you. Wait. Didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass? Yes, we did. Uh, don't worry about the price. They're on the house. How many do you need? About six. Two is enough. Oh, two. Yes, two. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. But those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, and before we go, just a reminder, the forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. Take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. Okay. I guess Tainari is just super nice. He's a superhero. If I'd ever seen one.
Wealth and fame he ignores, cause action is his reward. Uh, isn't it nice that we can teleport? Can you imagine if we had to walk everywhere? Ugh, that would be so inconvenient and time consuming. It's Kali. Hi there, Traveler and Paimon. How are you doing? How's your LSR? <laughs> Is it like bad form to like ask someone about like, I don't know, something that they're dealing with? It's like, oh, hey, how's your depression? <laughs> or, oh, hey, how's your broken arm? I guess if it's like a physical injury or something and you ask about it and it's like really apparent, like you can see someone has their arm in a sling or something so it's like, oh, how is that? And they that that might be OK. But if you ask someone about something a bit more like I don't know, uh, personal or private, maybe that's not the right thing to do. <laughs> it might be a little bit of a faux pas. <laughs> Master, I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? Yes, please. No need. Oh, never mind. A precise dosage is required this time, so I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, it means you can't, <laughs> you can't do precise dosages. Heh, <laughs> Kale, you silly. Still, uh, years before you can, uh, become a doctor or something. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me very approachable. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. After you and Tainara prepare the medicine, Kale gives it to Yara. How is he? Doing any better? Oh? Uh? I feel like he's doing a lot better, and his temperature is returning to normal. For now. That's wonderful! Oh yeah, he asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier, and he told her everything about the toy. And then Suna hit him in the face. Suna didn't get mad, oh. so he wanted to thank you. Uh, can I ask what happened? It's nothing. Did you prepare the traveling gear I asked you to? Of course I did! Are you going somewhere far away? Um, depends on what you mean by far away. Yes, we're going to the contaminated region. Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. You can do it, Kale. We believe uh, in you. But I, uh, I can't even begin to compare to you. Don't worry about it. You'll, it's, uh, we'll only be gone for a little bit. Many things are learned by doing. And once they've been done, you'll realize they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were. Deal with problems as you yourself see fit. You don't have to emulate me. That's right! You'll do great, Kale. <laughs> Alright, then I'll do my best. She gets like a panic attack, the the first like issue that pops. <laughs> Master, Traveler, Paimon, take care of yourselves. Uh don't worry, everything will be fine with Tainari around. We'll be alright. You'll understand the reason for this excursion once we arrive at the contaminated region. You put too much confidence in me. Anyway, like you said, things will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. Call is a crab? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, ew. Quest complete. Go into the hitherlands. Oh, this is a new part of the quest. Uh, into the hinterlands. Uh, look for the mechanical crab. With the mechanical crab as your guide, it's time to head to the contaminated region. I think I'm going to end things here since this is uh, there was a quest complete and this is a new, new like part of this whole story quest so yeah so far um things have been i don't know pretty uneventful i would say we learned about compat we don't even know where the contaminated zone is we just know that there is one i guess it's like close to where this cla crab is maybe in this area i don't know maybe we, we go deeper into here and like end up here or something like that but yeah we came here apparently these are stores here which i thought was just a dude hanging about a gate being all like loitering and suspicious but yeah, um, actually, let's talk to Kale, see what she's about. I can do this. I can do this. You can do it, Kale. I believe in you. Yara. Thank you. I feel much better now. You also look much better. Asha. Murmuring to herself, Asha seems to be praying for her son's recovery. Yes, because it is the Archons that are helping him, not uh, Tainari's um, expertise in medicine. <laughs> I guess um, 
you can kind of argue that uh, the fact that the means to get the medicine and uh, everything that happens in between to get the medicine to Yara is like a little bit controlled by the gods, like the luck involved there. It's like there could all these things could go wrong. Like we couldn't cap capture the crab, there was no merchant to sell and uh, stuff that we couldn't get the medicine to actually help. Then you can say, then she can be like, oh no, I, I should have prayed to the gods more or whatever. <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I rambled long enough. I hope to see you in the next one. Subscribe for more crazy game stuff. And goodbye.